Hello and welcome to race three of four in the K5 Championships Season Zero. We are in the late models at Five Flags Speedway. Just downloaded this track um, just uh, for this race. Did about 50 practice laps on my own and then, well, looks like about 40. Uh, once I got to the session here, been doing a lot of practice. Um, I'm hoping I can back up my practice time because it looks like that should be good enough to get in the race, but anything can happen when you've got two laps to get it right. So I have to make sure I don't mess this up. This is absolutely crucial. Go home. I should go home or go home. That's me. No. Um, go or go home. Qualifying here. So this is crucial. I might be silent for a minute here. Just green flag, green flag. Okay, here comes your first time black. Oh no, that was horrible. Yikes. One more lap. P18. Currently, Hit a better lap here. Track feels a little tighter. Oh, okay, that's a better lap. But by how much? All right. 615. I'm in 11th right now. Man, I couldn't back up my point five. I was hoping I'd be able to. Really felt like the track was... A little tighter, maybe, once I got out here, compared to what I was used to. Of course, might just be the nerves got to me. Top 21, uh, 28, get in. Right now we're at 12th. 13th, it's dropping. I'm going to have to take a look at it here. Nervous, very nervous. So what we got? Top 10 invert. Right now Gavin's in that spot. 615 is what I got here. Nick, Gavin, Mitch all seem like they're okay. Oh. Uh, Justin says he, he choked it. Is he out of it? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28. Oh, man. Yeah. All right, so it looks like Justin just barely didn't make it. Looks like Kyle also is outside. I feel bad for him. I mean, I know he'd do well. I keep saying it. I know he'd do well in the race, but he's just having trouble getting a few times in to make it to the show. Um, Man, lowercase Ryan not in it. That's surprising. You know, he's fast. Shoot. Um, two, four, six, eight, ten. So Gavin got out of the, uh, <laughs> the invert. Looks like number 94. Alan is currently in the pole position after invert. Looks like I'm okay, thankfully. I can start breathing a little easier. I think just about everybody won. everybody's got to lap in. And then we got to do the pointless heat race. But at least I made it. I was a little worried after that first lap. I had to hit a better second lap, which shouldn't be the case. Um, hmm. But thankfully I was able to put it together. That's the end of the session. There is no inside. <laughs> He's talking about being on the inside. I was doing that last week. And probably the week before, too. Talking about, oh, inside, outside. Doesn't exist. It's single file. Let's 
So it looks like we are 14th. All right, so a little better than last week. Last week was 18th where I started, 14th here. If I had backed up my practice time there at the 522, I would have been, you know, fake pole, I guess. Or, yeah, <laughs> fake pole would have been 10th, I guess. When uh, actually starting the race. But track conditions are a little different, it would seem. Interesting. The track temp is 1.13. The air temp is 87 Fahrenheit. Two minutes. Let's, uh, I guess, take a peek at consolation race. Oh, we got Justin giving it a try <laughs> with a three lap. Um, at least you showed up race, I guess. I don't know if consolation heat race. I don't know. Maybe he can go for the win. Maybe he'll be more aggressive. He's always a little bit nervous to be a little more aggressive. It seems like maybe he'll be more aggressive knowing that it's just a silly, pointless three lap heat race. He can try for the win, although he's on the outside, so. Is the initial start too wide? I don't remember. No restarts are single file. They're certainly double wide here for the heat race. Get a wider view, I guess. Get this ready for incidents later. Man, what a bummer though. Justin just barely missed out. Yeah, change cameras while you watch. Sure can. Not sure why he's having an issue there. Sure we're live. So who we got Scott? Who else we got in here? Lots of the same names. Jeremy, a fantastic qualifying effort. His way up there. He had a tough week last week, so good to see that. Ring, a little bit of a stutter well, start. Just two minutes left, two minutes to go. It's basically a green white checkered plus I guess another lap, so what, like green green white checkered? <laughs> it's not as catchy. Ooh, a little tap on them. We were in there. Three turns down on the 21. We got ourselves an accident. Oh no. The humanity. Justin fighting on the outside. Pretty well, it looks like. We are on the final lap. Can he hold on to this third position? Holds it pretty tight. Got smoke on the track. It looks like he's a little out wide. Just barely misses out. But he had a nice little clean sprint race. Oh god. Mm, we got people wrecking behind. Not sure what happened there. Probably just messing around because the race is over. You know, Nick still doesn't like that though, so maybe be careful. <laughs> Might not enjoy seeing that. <laughs> but Alright, that's their heat race. We will be heading to the real deal here in a moment. Only inverts the top 10, so I will be in 14th for real. Looks like we're about the same pace as a couple of the guys that have been around us. We got the 88, Shane, who got into last week, unfortunately. Gonna try and have to do that this week, obviously. Ryan also has been around us. Or at least I remember the first race. He was. All right. Very nervous. We'll get a little bit of qualifying in, or practice in rather. Joe's up there, in front of us. I think he might have missed the race last week. Which was a bit of a surprise. So I can, like I was saying, anything can happen in these qualifying sessions. 
in the race, I will definitely be taking it easier. We're going to do session last lap, get that. Q29 is painful. Oh man, yeah, that hurts. Hate see that. So it's going to be hard on the tires this race. And uh, Nick pointed it out, and then I saw it for myself during my practice. Very true. It sure is going to be hard on the tires. So, uh, and you only get one set, and that means one set. Even if you blow your tire, like you just have to pull into the pits, and you're done. That's all you get. So, whoa, sideways. So I'm not going to be doing that, hopefully, during the race. Oh boy. All right. Here we are on the grid. After the invert, we got Nick starting second. Maybe he was trying the Mitch strategy. <laughs> Purposely trying to qualify 10. Very interesting though. Uh, Mitch not going to be leading every single lap this time. <laughs> Looks like Mitch and Mitch uh, time it perfectly this time. Yeah. So, session last lap, let's, uh, let's get it going here. Okay, that's right, we do do double file for the start and then single file for the rest. I remember now. We got Gavin to our front left. Oh, that's right, Shane's got the EOL, I forgot about that. So we're gonna move forward a little bit. How about that? Yeah, good luck, have fun, everyone. Totally forgot about that. I gotta Catch up to car number. shape up or I'm gonna end up like that next week. <laughs> so. Is this a first gear start? Looks like it might be. So we actually get to move forward a little bit. Since Shane had qualified right in front of us. That means we will technically be starting to P12. If I'm not mistaken. So. I'm going to try to get down to the bottom as soon as possible. Uh, I think we can probably hang on decently well, maybe. Out on the outside, but it'll kill the tires more, so don't want to be doing it anyway. Well, second gear. Looks like. Car is off. Time to do your job. Green flag. Green flag. Car inside. Auto room. Head of us. inside. Car inside. Still inside. Inside. Okay, the six finds a spot. We're overdriving. <laughs> so I make sure not to do that anymore. I want to find a space to file in if I can. Maybe just catch a caution. Hopefully we don't get one, but if we do get one, get us back to single file. Oh, is that a tap, maybe? So I've got to get a little bit sideways. Potentially. Very stuck out here. Doing my best, trying to hang on out here. And at the same time, not just destroy the tires or anything. Stay high, there's a car on the low side. B12. Oh my gosh. Stay high, there's a car on the low side. Kind of being limited by a uh, car in front. Probably for my own benefit though, so I'm not killing the tires. Still stuck out here. Oh, I don't need that. 
Don't need to see that. No blinking. Okay, Hunter. Our refueling window Going open high. after 10 minutes. Closes at about 3 minutes. Still there. Hold your arm. Time was 18.0. Might be pinching a little bit. I better be careful. Just get stuck out here all 150 laps. Wouldn't that just be fun? Did practice driving the uh, second line, so... Maybe I can file in here. Hold on. Clear inside. Yes, okay. Get me to the bottom, please. Thank goodness. Had about enough of that. Now that my tires are roasted and I'm doomed for the rest of the race. We are just kind of single file at the moment. Which is just kind of the way it is. Maybe a little vapor in there, but I'm not going to be able to do anything with that. Talk about uh, Brandon in front of us. Definitely going to be focusing on making sure I've got my nose and I'm not diving in this time. And an eye behind me as well. In case they want to try to make a move on me. B13. Uh, we got someone on the outside, it looks like, potentially. Shaking it up a bit. Slowing down the lines because guys are side by side. I guess I'm pitting. We'll need to stop again. Five, three, two, one. That's interesting. Leaders, I guess I'm a lap car now. That changes things up. Time to hope for a lucky dog. <laughs> At least I didn't speed. I guess. Okay, Colton, we're in the lucky dog position. Let's push hard to keep it. Well, we don't want the uh, 92. Oh, he's pitting, so we're fine. All right, well, we just got to hang out here until we get Lucky Dog, I guess. I'm sure that's not muted. I forgot an apology, so. Well, hey, I guess we're good enough to keep pace with the leaders. Good to know. Can we just pretend I'm in third? That'd be pretty cool. Nine, you're blanking bad. B27. Uh, this isn't gonna go green all the way, right? I mean, that'd be pretty neat. If it did, but I prefer it didn't. For my own personal case. You've just done eighteen point zero. I will let Mitch buy if it's closer, but he's still point four behind. Ha! 
<sighs> well, this has taken a strange turn. I'll have to remember Nick's guidelines for Lucky Dog. Make sure I get up through the field real quick. Now keep you here on the side, bro. Yeah, that was me. So the car behind me decided I was having an unscheduled pit stop. That's what we're working with here. Hey Gavin, am I still blinking? Yeah. Pretty bad. Alright, go ahead. Interesting. Oh, we've got a spot coming up here. Maybe. Uh, no, he's, I thought he was in the pits. He's up to speed. It's like, so, it's going to be a while before we ever get to him. I would like to have this lucky dog spot if we could get a caution before I lose it. really cool if this went green all the way to the end, but it also would be very not cool. Still very early. Just driving. Good to know I'm fast enough to keep up here, like I said. I might be killing my tires while they're being nice to them, though. Hard to say. Don't have enough experience with this stuff to know for sure. Bitch is currently in third. Not leading every lap. The 94 having a great race, it looks like. I don't seem to have any damage. Uh, I obviously didn't hit anything on the inside and was able to correct it. I just couldn't avoid getting put down pit lane. Because as far as I was down there, if I had tried to uh, make a hard right, not only would have that been potentially dangerous, swerving back onto the track like that, but also I uh, don't think I would have Made it past the commitment line, the commitment cone, and probably would have gotten a black flag, so. Sliding around like I did also is not going to help my long term tire situation. Hopefully, it's not too bad, but. Oh boy. Ooh, don't hit the wall, you goofy chicken streaker. Do that. Alright, there we go. So I'm assuming I'm the lucky dog. Didn't feel it. No, I wasn't trying to cut down there. Going around the outside. Oh! Leather 84 carbine. What just happened? Letter 84, carbide. You had the position when the yellow flag came out. Not that space car. I think I gotta make sure the pace car gets here first. We do have the free pass. You may pass the caution car on the outside. Pass the pace car, pass the... Not Don't sure what was going on car. there. That's the 96. Catch the 31. Catch All right, we are caught up. So now we got a long way to go. But at least we're on the lead lap. It's going to really put my uh, ability to pass cleanly to the test. Why are we stopping? Pass the 96.
Alright, gotta be patient, gotta do it the right way. No, you're still blinking about every 10 seconds or so. Because you're the lucky dog, you'll be held at the end of the longest line. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna call it then. Good luck, everybody. Daniel, I didn't know you made it into the race this week. Some yeah, damage back here, looks like. One to go. Right, I'm almost on fire. Line up on the outside. This lap. You're better than to give yourself credit for. Well, the two, I've made it, and I've made it by the skin of my teeth. Hey, that just means that you're the top 28. Alright, getting back to it. Come on, let's punch it up, man. What's going on? Why is that not green until now? That was weird. That was really weird. Alright, well. <laughs> Everything seems good now. Nick knows his clear all button, so he succeeded in doing that. We got 31 in the ball. Trying to get a run. Not quite there. Okay, Colton. New window open. Man, it's hard to make a pass, looks like. Slow car down low. Slow car down low. Caution though, I don't see one. Shame, track position seems really important today and I lost it. Outside. Uh, did I dive it on him? I don't know. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. I hope that wasn't too aggressive. Keep low. Keep low. Fight me, it looks like. Still there. Clear. Alright, maybe not. Clear. That's one spot. Got a long way to go though to get back to a place where I want to be. Oh no, James. A while back. Is disconnected. I guess he was in one of the wrecks. You know, he's always a top competitor, so that's interesting to see. No idea what happened. Very difficult to pass, it looks like. Hard to gain anything. 20 second place. My break bias back to 54.5 though, and it seems to be doing pretty good work getting it rotated at least. Don't hit that wall. 
That's good consistency. Keep it up. Your last lap time Man. was 18.1. Stinks. I felt like I had a really good shot this week too, and I don't know if I'm ever going to get back up there now. That was a It's getting tighter. Be more patient on throttle. Got some side by side action up ahead. You are blinking all over the place at the moment. Try to find a way to get around the guy ahead. Alright, if you get close, I'll let you by. If you're about to, because I'm screwing up. Ooh, hit the apron a little bit. Don't do that. It's bad for business. Ah, uh, the blinking stopped for the moment, so. I'm still seeing some two bars. I'm gonna get a run. I might get one. Not seeing it at the moment. Ah, uh, okay. <sighs> right there. Thanks for letting me off with my eye on it. No problem. Outside. Okay, got my nose on him there. That felt pretty good. Felt like I got that right that time. Okay. 21st. Ooh, this is fun though. Even if I'm way back here, feels pretty fun. Uh -oh. Caution though, not seeing a caution. Man, that should have been big. That lap time was 18.2. Oof. See, they sorted it out ahead of us for a little bit now. Not. No longer side by side. Means our paces have evened out a little bit again. It's missing the bottom. Don't want to stick it in there where it doesn't belong, though. End up wrecking. Oh, we got a wall hit, maybe? Only protecting the bottom. Can't take advantage of a bit of a check up there. B21. Hmm. Very hard racing. Lots of grip on the track now. Feels like uh, all the rubber, I guess, got on the track. Ninety-one catching up again. It back there. It looks like. Holy smokes. Damn it on the wall hard. Sorry for the heart attack, Colton. That's alright, doctor's got to me in time. 
stay low. There was a car on the high side. Clear outside if you want it. <laughs> So, we survive. Okay, Colton, the next car is... Whew, top 20. Feels like there was a lot more chatting last week. Of course, there was a lot more yellow flag running last week as well. So, that might be part of it. <laughs> All right, keep it smooth. We are almost halfway through this thing already. So let's see if we can catch up to the 50 next. Oh, he's going for a pass. Ooh, a dangerous move. Slides up. Almost takes him out, it looked like. That got sketchy. Well, that was at 18.2. E20. Hmm. Fighting hard. Doing what I can. A little bit loose there, maybe. How do I have a run? Yeah, I was trying to keep forgetting to bind my brake tire to get into my wheel. Okay, we're good. We're halfway to the finish. Officially halfway, as of now. Hmm, got a little tight there. It's not my favorite feeling in the world. Ripping the wheel tight. My hands are gonna hurt after this one. One on the outside up there, maybe? Maybe it's a lap car, I'm not sure quite yet. It is indeed a lap car. Maybe we can take advantage, I don't know. Not really, didn't really catch him at a uh, advantageous spot for us. He did a good job, in other words. <laughs> uh, I just cannot get the nose out. They are on him. Takes a bit of a shallow entry, is that our opportunity? I think we got there. Keep low. Clear. Don't let him cross me over. Part in the wall. D19. You've just done <sighs> three. Okay, we have gained one more position. Can we gain more? Bumper of the 20 now. Right there. Trying my best to get there. Slides up a little bit on exit. Is that enough for me? Not quite. Hey, why can you go high? <sighs> Getting enough of a run to do anything. Uh. 
Still not enough of a run. I feel like I'm getting close though. Not figure out how to get by I am. Try a wider entry here. You've just done a 18.3. I just I can't leave the door too wide open down there. Or else uh, I'm gonna be the one passed. You've just done a 18.3. Come on. Do I got him here? No. I am sweating, man. I'm trying so hard. Try to get this done. Inside. That was a dive. Are you serious? I'm not giving this up. I don't think I'm fat. I'm slower. Not thrilled with being dove on either. <sighs> Tight. Clear inside. I'll lose a spot there. So he was willing to do what I am not. The lap time was at eighteen point two. Exactly what I was worried about though, trying to set up a pass, just leaving the door open and getting taken advantage of. Any blinks, okay. Very disappointed right now. Got some side by side ahead. Looks like 31 way up at the lap car. <laughs> Go figure. Here I thought we might be getting a spot. Outside. Don't know why the 31's hanging on out there. Frustrated. There's almost nothing you can do, it feels like. We'll dive it on on the 91. He has established that we are playing that game, so I will if I need to. I just, I'm not even I'm able to right now, though. Obviously, I want to try to do it clean first. Sorry. Outside. Go low. Keep low. Pretty aggressive for our place. Thought the same thing when you dived in on me. Ah. <sighs> 
<sighs> I'm gonna get kicked from the league, aren't I? Oh, great. Trace just gets worse, that answer. Get dove on again. There, Jesus Christ. Inside. People driving in, diving in, and I have to overdrive it in order to make it not happen. I feel like I'm racing under a different rule set than everyone else. Frustrating, man. Pass the paid car. Might have fall back here. I was going to be uh, blocking car. off that. I let you buy. That sucks, Alan. <sighs> Very frustrating race. Pit road's open. Long green run, though. I slowed down, so I didn't wreck that guy. I think you get a warning at like 50. And then 25, and then you get a meatball when you're out. Car 96. Got the lucky dog. Yep, Left them parked on the outside. How long will it be before we play at the bounty on Mitch? Very dirty <laughs> on the lower side of the track, it looks like. Pip, you gotta go to the rear, man. Aw, oh, Mitch isn't first. Go figure. mile and a half back. Here in 19th at the moment. Not sure what happened in the 94. I thought he was up front. Is that part of the wreck, I guess? I don't know what happened. One left to green. Get ready. You're on the Where's outside the with the end of this lap. Oh gosh, what's happening? Someone got removed? Not sure why. About to go green. Oh, he might be a guy that was okay, lapped down who doesn't, didn't remember green. to drop to the back. Green flag, green flag. I did not even dive in there, I just got hit from behind. Clear. Car outside. Still there, hold your line. It's waiting on Daniel to get going. I don't know he was slow to get accelerated. Still there, hold your line. And then I got hit from behind. Go low. He's way off the wall. Clear outside if you want it. <sighs> All right, still got some time. That lap time was eighteen point zero. 
24 up the track. Not sure what happened there. Okay, Colton, half distance. We think around 70 minutes of fuel remaining. Tires aren't feeling too great. I'm sure everybody's feeling pretty similar at this point. Short tracks. This is annoying. Still there at bottom. Stay high to the car on the low side. I know I could be up there, but I'm stuck back here. Clear inside. With frustration for ten and a half hours. Interesting to see who put me in this position to begin with. Whoever it was that knocked me into the pits and then said no word. Contact there, maybe? I'm hitting a cone. Gee whiz. You're not there. Go high. Ah! Shouldn't laugh. Oh, but I'm not crying either. Okay. How is that not a caution? That's a good question. That looked like a pretty heavy hit. Slow car down low. Slow car down low. Blow an engine on the bottom. Before hard into the wall. Outside. I thought he was gonna be able to avoid it. Still there. Still there. Why are you taking the bottom, Daniel? You're in the middle. Three wides. Clear outside. Oh my goodness! What a crazy race. All right, Colton. The next car is Ross. I have to, a, lot, a lot to think about after this one's over. <sighs> Low car up high. Low car up high. Oh no, big wreck. Oh, we got more going on up here. What on earth? That was caused by the 94, wasn't it? Running low when he's lapped. Pass the pipe car. Uh -oh. Where's the guy? Where's the guy? Suddenly we're not so far back anymore. I need a new pair of drawers after that one. I understand the feeling. Sorry about um, whoever crashed spun because of the, the 94 backing us all up. Alan, that was not the best re-entry I've seen, but hey, you made a, uh, you made a highlight reel there. Uh-oh. Yeah, I don't know that's the highlight reel you want to be a part of, though. Uh, Sorry, everyone who was behind me for that restart and how terrible I was. Uh, my dog keeps trying to walk over my pedals and he keeps hitting the brake, and it's really, really bad. 
Sounds like you need to lock him in another room. I'm just kidding. That was a fun little battle, though it all ended. Twelfth. Wow. I'm not saying, huh, Gavin? I guess. I mean, I don't know why he's starting to do this, but it's, it's getting bad. Remember that happening to him during the Watkins Glen and I asked at the end? I was three white men on I had to go. Sorry, didn't you? So we've somehow found our way about back to 12th. I guess we know how, because people are wrecking. Oh. Like I said, I'm gonna have a lot to think about after this one. Right now, I just gotta focus on racing and then look back at it later. But <sighs> should we get a good start here? Should we're bunched up? Green, stay focused. Heads up, have a green flag. Ice car is off, be ready. Green flag, green flag. Okay, we're getting taken three wide immediately. That was kind of cool. I can only go as fast as the guy in front of me. Friends. Hey, what are these things idle at? Anybody remember? Outside, clear. Outside, clear high. Should be 900. Gotta protect the bottom. That was Oh boy. I know the 46 is fast too, so I have to be on my A game. Just keep hitting your mark. Loose. Oh, I slid up. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Car inside. Clear inside. I didn't hear car inside. God, there's no more grip in these tires. I'm getting hit on entry. Inside. Clear. Inside. Clear inside. B13. Car inside. Sick of this shit. God damn it. Dude, we used up this whole damn race. The nose on me. Fair enough. Clear inside. Inside. Clear. Tires are gone. Not there. Man, this went from a really green, fun race. I mean, it's still fun. Um, but man, man. Yeah, I'm getting a little sick of being used up this entire race. Pit road's open.
Okay, Colton. Ten minutes of fuel remaining. Half bar, ninety one. Car. I'm gonna need to go for the leader. Car, ninety one. Got the lucky dog. Let them past on the outside. Seven. My bad, ninety one. Trying to pull my tires off. Oh, I shouldn't even say anything. Gonna survive to the end. All I know is I'm one one to go. Next man. time by. Race cars in this lap. Five. Five to go. Like it doesn't even matter where you start. <laughs> now if you start in the very back, that that might be a thing. About to go green, stay focused. Race cars coming in, be ready. Post car is off, time to do your job. Green, green, green flag, green flag. Go. What is this three wide? This is not... Inside. This Inside. might as well be public. Same here. Very interested in finishing ahead of Logan there. You just got the white flag. That means one more lap to go. What is this blocking? Who are these people? Car outside. White flag. Last Clear. lap. Up from time was 18.3. Car outside. Keep low. Good weather, man. Still there. Good race, everybody. B13. Back down to the race. All right. That was a good thing. Better schedule some testing. We'll get them next time. How bad was that right rear at the end there, Gavin? Ah. <sighs> Don't even know what to think right now. Good, Good God, God, Gavin. Gavin. Uh, uh, Gavin, Gavin. Yeah, I yeah, could tell you had nothing left, Wesley. Well, I finished 13th. Gavin's dog sabotaged his finish. Sounds like. Technically moved forward. Had to go all the way to the back with a lucky dog at one point. Fought back to 13th, so I'll take it. Made some friends along the way, I think. <laughs> I don't know. Lots to digest after that one, but let's uh, go ahead and take a look That's uh, the incidents so, Yeah, 
head pain. I felt that little rough bump going into turn one and trying to move me. Just, just brush the ball a little bit. It's nothing. It was the lightest little pack. I wouldn't have done little brush of the ball. Up, I get nose up under you. Very low entry there. Oh, I know. I, I, just, I was like, oh man, he just put Ryan in me. <laughs> really low off the corner. That, that was kind of strange. Well, I thought it would have been a hell of a feat to start laughing. Finishing the top well, 92 line, entered. The exit's really low, it looks like. And kind of scrubs his speed off. 24 yeah, gets in the back. Last week, he was just like his tire done. Um, huh. I could tell just by the way his car was moving around the track. Um, so yeah, it was, <laughs> I was trying to get by him, I just, and then he kept parking it in the middle, I'm like, man, I can't do anything, I'm not going to move you, but I can't do anything. Got some guys getting tight, yeah, really. I think I'm race, everybody's tired as a girl. I played my route front real good, because I was just driving slow in the back, working my way up real slow, so my route front was a 61. So here's where we get spun. Yeah, I saw that. You did a good job saving that right front. Not a word from him. I'm right too bad. A fifty-two thirty-three. It has right, right along the lines of okay. uh, what fifty-four. Sure, that's about. I remember mid so uh, I'm, I'm happy with that. Then I have to go down pit road. There's nothing I can do there. I was looking for Gavin, and then we got it to see him up there. Yeah. He put them in there. His were, what was it, 31 Yeah, 31 There it is. I guess he's waiting. Come on, fit the darn thing. All right. Yeah, certainly made my race interesting. Getting stuck back there. But, all right. It was an accident, he apologized. So we got lots of blinking. I remember hearing about the 96 blinking a lot. Parties in the wall. Oh, that's James. I wonder what happened to him. Two fours going up into the wall, it looks like. That's a pretty hefty hit. Got everything all checked up there. Mitch hitting the wall. He won again, right? Yeah. At least he didn't lead every lap this time. wall. Yeah, I remember I barely tapped the wall here. Well, that was a pretty hefty hit. It's harder than I thought I did. Didn't really do anything though. Uh-oh. Uh what happened up there? Oh no. We got side by side. Looks like he's got the nose on him. Or just turns down like he's not there, it looks like. And then, while trying to catch it, James gets rear-ended pretty bad. That stinks. Alright, and then... Two... Nudie touches the wall just barely. Wall hits. That's a takeout. What happened here? It's like a checkup. And, uh, oh, that's Wesley. Checkup on exit there and, uh, just didn't react in time. Kind of hard to call that on anyone. Just 
Didn't react in time to the big checkup. Well, it's made a lot of green running for a while. Oh, there's when Daniel gets in the wall. I had to slam on the brakes. Thankfully, I was able to not run into the back of him and kill him. I kind of saw it coming, but not much I could really do. I thought maybe he would stick to the wall there, and so I was kind of turning hard left, but then he moves off the wall, and so I kind of hard right. <laughs> kind of a crazy situation there. I'm glad we didn't, uh, no one got sideways through that exchange, at least. Four in the wall. One in the wall. These are just wall taps. I remember the... I think the 94, after leading all that time, had a mistake or something that actually became a lap car. I don't know what happened. But we'll see soon enough. About halfway through the incidents here, lap-wise. Pretty hard hit there for the 46. I just skip it when I see Mitch or someone up there because, you know, they're just barely brushing the wall, if anything at all. So, wall hit. Still in the top 10, despite some damage there. Scrape the wall as well. Uh, lap traffic, I believe. Is this lap traffic? Maybe not. Yeah, lap traffic. Six. I think I'm getting some cars confused. I think I'm confusing maybe the 96 with someone else. I don't know, maybe. DF up off the bottom just a bit. Not quite enough for Daniel to get below, it looks like. There, I'm pitching it in, probably hitting 50%. Remember, I was being more aggressive with the 91 because he dove it in on me earlier, so I'm like, alright, I'll dive it in on you. Probably gonna be a point against me, though. That didn't need to happen, but I was getting kind of frustrated. Yeah, that's missing the context, but doesn't need it. I don't need to be running into the back of people, so. Ah, I need to think about that one. Obviously, I shouldn't run into the bag of people. I wasn't trying to. I was trying to get on the inside. Because he was drifting up the corner and taking out two lanes. And my patience was low with him in the first place. Because he decided to dive in on me when I knew I was faster. And made me have to wait on him, so... And I'm having to overdrive every corner because people are trying to dive it on me. It's like the 50 does that to the 31. Although the 31's a lap car, he shouldn't be that far down below anyway, to be honest. Are we seeing the same one again? Or is... Yeah, this is... 
Going into each other and then... That wasn't a caution, I don't think. Or was it? It was a caution. I'm not entirely sure what happened there. I don't even know if I would call that on the 50. 31 doesn't need to be doing that, but... Whew. Some people dodging. Oh, no. The leader got damaged from that. Oh, that's why Nick was probably upset. At the 50, I think the 50 got DQ'd. Not holding his brakes and coming up onto the track. I don't know, was he able to, was he even able to stop it? I mean, I don't know, hard to say. I know the brakes aren't the strongest in these in this car. He might have tried. Nick's trying his best to officiate from inside his car, so he doesn't get the note all of the context of whatever happens. And then here I'm waiting on Daniel and then getting run into from behind because I'm not about to get dive bombed on a restart because I was being patient for someone else. And that's a list of things I'm tired of this race. Very frustrating one. Constantly having people looking low on me. Like, you're gonna take it three wide there? I. Shouldn't even be back here to begin with. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to commentate while I'm still pretty heated. And then, of course, I get the Wendy's car beating my bumper off at the end, and I'm not having it. That'll come up later. Kevin and Nick having a cool race, side by side. Barely clears the 19, the 6 does. Suddenly he's on the inside of Gavin there. I hope they had a good race. Here I am being my dove on or passed. I mean, is he there? I don't know, but he sure did slide up like he was going to take me out. I gave him room, and he's not there, and he's still trying to dive it in. I just have to fight on the outside because I know he's going to take me out, even though he's not there. It's like, I know he's probably not trying to do it. He's just trying his best, but man, it was frustrating because I'm trying to be better about that exact thing and everyone's doing it to me. So it's like I'm playing under a different set of rules and it's pretty frustrating. I don't know why we're seeing all this uh, 73 car action, but. Looks like we're moving on. A little bit of contact there. Just trying to, both of them trying to maximize the room on the track. Gavin in the wall a little bit, maybe. His dog's probably tap dancing on his brake pedal right now. Seems like that really hurt him. They're three wide there and then getting into each other down below. Four wide! Holy smokes, they had something crazy going on up here. He got a very interesting situation there. Lap car does not need to be on the track. Down there like that. He was the guy that was leading. Yeah, I think you just need to dive below the white line right there. Maybe he tried and didn't get it turned or something, but yeah. he apologized. I saw him apologize. And then, uh, what we got going on here? They're all mixing it up. 46 gets turned so he can come back and bump into my bumper. They're all pulling out in front of the 91. Got a little messy at the end there, it looks like. 
Boy, I can't wait till we get on the uh, mile and a half in the Arctic car. <laughs> then I'll feel a little more comfortable out there. But, uh, oops. Hit my wheel. One back here. Still back here. Driving. Got a battle for the lead. No, not much of a battle. The 25's given Mitch his best shot. Very loose, a 24. Self-spinning. Oh, no, and then Brandon, I think that's Brandon. Got into him, yeah, blows his motor. That's unfortunate. Looks like he's trying to take it to the pits. You gotta blow the motor, you might as well just tow it, to be honest, but... Nick up here. Race is almost over. Don't know why we're seeing it. Tires, I guess. 46 way out there. What happened? He just missed his. He just went too hard on entry, I guess. So this is how we got alongside him. He's up in the dirty stuff up there, it looks like. I'm getting sideways and my tires are dead. Guess we'll just watch this to the end. Doing my best to hold on to it. Drifting through the corners. And I don't know what that was up here. We got two wide. Six making it three wide. Or, uh, I don't know. I think the 20 got loose. I don't think he was trying to block, maybe, because it looks like he's loose and trying to keep it off of Gavin, and then it ends up looking like a block. The 6 was trying to take it 3 wide. And the 20 wasn't so much interested. Gavin probably heard the 3 wide call, and his dog was square dancing on the pedals, so... Having trouble. Probably a frustrating finish for him. But, uh, pretty happy to finish in front of the 46. He decides to do that. So, good for him. Gavin does it too, I believe. He's frustrated. As expected. Alright, well, like I said, a lot to think about after this one for sure. Um, yeah, gonna have to think about a lot of things. I don't know, though. The one guy I ran into the back to of... I know I shouldn't have done it, but I'm, I don't feel too sorry. <laughs> Is that bad? Because uh, kind of frustrated. I don't know. Maybe if I'm going to run to the back of someone. I wasn't trying to. I was trying to get below him. Don't need to be putting my nose there, though, in the first place. But in my head, I'm like, I'm going to do it anyway because I'm tired of this person. Diving it in and being slow in front of me. That's my justification. It's not a good one. Gotta be better at that. I'm just bad at short track racing. I don't know how to navigate it properly. So, lots of frustration. But, pull it in P13. See if Nick gives me a uh, end of line for next week. I don't know how it's gonna be looked at or whatever. But, that's gonna do it. Bit of a frustrating race, but I don't know. Hope you enjoyed watching anyway. And uh, be sure to check out uh, other views as well. Lots of uh, perspectives to check out this of this race. So I hope you have a good one. I'll see you next time. And uh, for the next race, final race of the league. So I'll see you there, I guess. <laughs>